You've heard the term vetting a lot in the process of hiring Ime Udoka, who is serving a one-year suspension from the Boston Celtics. But what specifically does vetting mean? What, what's taking place here? Yeah, Malik, I, uh, Brooklyn and Ime Udoka, I think the <clears throat> terms on that contract may be reached uh, probably likely tomorrow uh, for, for him to join the Nets as their head coach. And I think the Nets have been, uh, I think this vetting of the situation, the circumstance in Boston that led to Udoka's suspension slash ouster, really, with the Celtics has been going on for, for a period of time here. And I think for, listen, there's a, an independent report that the Celtics commissioned when they launched this investigation into Adoka and you know our sourcing is that there's really two uh, significant findings there that led Boston uh, to suspend Adoka. One, the relationship, uh, the improper relationship with a subordinate in basketball operations, and number two, I think the what was described as crude language, crude verbiage, uh, in a couple instances that led led up in I think the prelude uh, to that relationship. And those were really two of the significant findings. And I think Brooklyn uh, uh, is able to talk to Boston about this. They have history uh, with Ime Odoka in Brooklyn as an assistant coach. His season there with Steve Nash and Sean Marks, the Nets general manager, he goes back with Ime Odoka all the way to San Antonio where they spelt, uh, spent a significant amount of time together. But listen, this comes with risk. There's no question, I think, for Brooklyn, I think there was, if there was any other candidate out there that fit the criteria of what they need, I think they'd, they'd probably move toward that candidate and, and avoid mm. the controversy that I think they know and the questions that are going to come with the hiring of Adoka. But I think he is just uniquely qualified uh, for what they need, and, and, and they, they seem determined at this point to move forward with it. Well, another significant issue at hand is Kyrie Irving sharing the link to a book and a movie that contains anti-Semitic sentiments. He shared this on social media last week, and there still hasn't been any disciplinary action taken by the team nor the league. So given the public backlash, how does this impact Kyrie's future in Brooklyn? Uh, Malik, I think his future is complicated regardless. I think it's even more perilous if he not only doesn't apologize, uh, but doesn't uh, you know, really condemn uh, what was in uh, that documentary. And I think anything short of that, I think is going to make his future uh, difficult, not just with the Nets, but elsewhere in the NBA. And I think it's really hard to really frame what his short term, uh, never mind his long term future is with the Nets until that happens. And it's we're, we're, we're almost on to a week uh, since he posted that last Thursday. And not only has there not been an apology, you know, Saturday night, there was almost something uh, of a double down on it. So I think uh, for the Nets, for the NBA, I think it starts with uh, a condemnation of what was in um, uh, the, the, that documentary that he uh, uh, put out on his platform. Mm. And I think until that happens, I think it's going to be very difficult for Kyrie Irving to exist, uh, not just uh, with the Nets, but in this NBA community. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.